Hello again, this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com, and today we're going to be answering a question I get asked by just about every friggin' tattooer out there. How do you line so fast? <laughs> Alright, so now that's over. Let's see about why I line so fast. I line so fast because I've been doing this a really goddamn long time. I don't have to worry about the consistency of my lines because I have practiced for years, maybe even, you know, a decade, decade and a half of how to run consistent lines. And this is not an intuition. This is science based. So we have a few things. You can see some of our other videos here. My camera's like way out of focus, but that's cool. We have good use of, you know, hydrophobic substances, good angle of insertion. The other thing is I run my machines really fucking fast. Standard tattoo liner here. We'll cut back. I think this is from Brett. I think his last name is Falcone. He's a machine builder in Texas. His stuff is fucking rad. If you don't uh, know of him, I don't think you're a professional tattooer. But tools of the trade. Here we go. Simple breakdown as to why I line so fast. I line fast because I use coils. Plain and simple. They hit harder, they hit faster, more consistent, and they kill your wrists. So that's it. You want to line faster? Use a coil. Okay, okay, I know that that isn't enough information for us to actually, like, finish this out. But why? Why are coils so much faster than rotaries? Simple. Coils go up and down. That's it. This armature bar that's right here, as it's moving, it goes up and down. I know it's like a semi, you know, it's got an arc to it. But for the most part, the reciprocating force of this, it's going up and down, is just going to be shoving the needle pretty much straight into your skin. Really, really simple. They move super fast. You can tune them. They always hit really consistently. And if you upkeep them, I mean, these things pay for themselves in no time. I have I have some tattoo machines that are 20 years old, and I've only had to change like a rear spring once or twice on them. Um, that's from a specific builder who is, if you know, he's just really fucking good. Um, so what happens with rotaries? So rotaries work on a cam system. And you got to think about it like this. Even if things are going to be moving in a circular pattern, right? Whichever way you want to fucking go. I don't care. Clockwise or counterclockwise. You're thinking that that circle is going to be a continuous motion, but as soon as you apply a cam to that and you attach something, either a push bar or a needle to it, as it spins around, there's going to be points of hang where this cam is going to have to readjust. You're going to get a hang as it comes around and passes a pivot point going down. As it passes this pivot point, the arm of that is basically going to have to wibble wobble. It's going to have to go past and then be pulled back up. And that pause as it moves back up, that's the maximum speed that your machine actually runs. And it isn't based on the RPM, right? Well, I guess BPM. RPMs are bullshit. This doesn't matter, right? You got to pay attention to the length and stroke of your cam, what speed you're running it at, and then what that hang point is like. If that hang point is too long, it doesn't matter how fast you move your hand, you're still going to have blotchy, splotchy spots where the needle is going to stick, it's going to bury, it's going to put in too much pigment, it's going to overly traumatize the skin. That's why people love using rotaries for things like stipple shading and traumatizing the skin to hell by doing that whip-styled stipple shading. Anyways, so how do I tattoo lines so fast? Most basic and simple answer is going to be, I use a coil machine. Till next time.